Hello everyone, Lost Dragon here. Welcome to my very first narrated MechWarrior Online video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about using LRMs and I'm going to be using the Warhawk B. Uh, I chose this chassis because it has a missile hardpoint in the center torso. So let's go over my build here very quickly with you. You can see it here. Uh, I've got three LRM 15s located in the right torso and one in the left arm and then I've got an LRM 10 in the center torso. Um, I am using Artemis with this build. I like Artemis because it gives you the faster lock time and the tighter spread on the missile, so you get more damage on the center torso or the, the side torso. It's concentrated where you really want it to go. Uh, I, I like this build, um, but some people do this with four LRM-15s without Artemis. That's, that's a good build as well. However, uh, you do suffer more from ghost heat on that build. If you fire over two LRM-15 simultaneously, you do take ghost heat. So I'm taking a ghost heat penalty uh, here for firing three, but it's not as big as if I fire four. Also in this build, I've got four medium lasers, three in the right arm, one in the left arm. Uh, I, in my left arm, I've also got a clan active probe and a tag. Uh, tag combined with Artemis, if you can, you know, those bonuses stack together. If you can tag a target with Artemis, you will get a lock on it very quickly. So I, I like that because it lets me get off snapshots a lot quicker uh, than if I just have one or the other. So I try to be in a position where I can where I can use tag and, and kind of fight from the front. Uh, rounding out the build, I've got ammo in both arms. Um, I've got about 17, not quite 1,700 rounds of LRM ammo stored in the right arm and the left arm. The Warhawk has a lot of fixed equipment. It's got several double heat sinks that take up the entire left torso. Uh, it's also got those uh, fitted permanently in the legs. So the ammo for this build has to go in the arms. There's really not any other alternative. Um, you could potentially swap out the Clan Active Probe for another ton of ammo, but I, I like having that because of the additional uh, sensor range that you get from it as well as the ability to target shutdown mechs that are close by so I keep that on the build and use it uh, instead of another ton of ammo and I typically if I run out of ammo it's usually toward the end of the match and it's not really a big issue for me all right this is the beginning of the match I'm currently in Charlie Lance and we dropped on the right side of our team so the first thing that I want to do is kind of get up out of the valley, see where the enemy team is going to be, kind of take some cover here behind this rock while I watch my team and see where they're going to go, let the slower assaults catch up, kind of let the team coalesce and, and see which direction we're going to go. This is a pug match, so there's not necessarily going to be a ton of coordination happening here. Um, you will hear some people speaking throughout the match on, on voice comms, but for the most part, everybody kind of does their own thing in a lot of pug matches. So I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and follow the team, try to be as helpful as possible, and put the missiles that I have where I need them to go. So you see, the first uh, the engagement is starting here. I'm getting lock on this mech, however, this Timberwolf is moving backwards, so I move out of his way because that is mech warrior uh, eth uh, etiquette 101 you never want to stand behind someone that's trying to back up I've got a lock on this mech uh, target Bravo I didn't shoot initially because he was so far away I wasn't sure that uh, I would be able to hit him and I wanted to conserve my ammo but the I, I looked at my mini map and I saw that my teammate had what appeared to be a solid lock on him and that mech was advancing toward my teammate so I knew that I would probably be able to put missiles on target even at this range. So here I continue to fire several volleys at him. Um, my teammate is doing a good job of holding that lock. He probably sees those missiles coming and now that mech has been killed. So here's another mech. Um, he's behind some cover, but he's in a good, I'm in a good spot on the right side of his cover to, to put some missiles on him. Lost the lock on him there because he went out of, out of range of our view. He's coming back around. I'm gonna move forward here and try to secure some locks on some other targets. Getting shot at by target I here. So I'm going to get a lock and fire back. New target. Here comes that Centurion that I was shooting at a few seconds ago. So I'm gonna put my tag on him because he's crossing my field of vision. I got his arm there, but that was just his shield arm. He didn't have any weapons in that. So I'm going to push forward and see if I can go ahead and move in for the kill on him. 
But I've got to be careful. I was kind of focused on him and didn't see that other target there come around the corner and take some shots at me. Now there goes a teammate up top, so I'm kind of watching him. I see that he's taking some heavy fire. Looks like he's getting some Gauss and AC fire there. So I stop, and I'm just going to kind of hang back and, and not expose myself because it looks like a lot of the enemy team was in that area. So here comes another target that's trying to get to his team. So I'm going to lay into him with my lasers and my missiles at the same time. He's taking fire from me and several of my teammates. I shut down here, but it's not a big deal because he's the only one that can shoot back at me currently and my team's got my back, so it's, it's not an issue. So here I'm, I'm kind of going around the corner of this rifleman. I'm still at high heat while I'm firing at him. I'm going to continue to shoot. And you'll notice that, that I don't always take shots even when I have lock because I don't want that to happen, what happened just there. I want to try to conserve my ammo and make sure that I put as many missiles on target as possible. So I'm going to be constantly maneuvering to try to get into position so that my missiles will actually hit. Score to kill there with lasers and missiles. I'm going to continue fighting here. And now our team is sort of taking the advantage. We're pushing up this we're pushing up this slope here and starting to really get the best of the, the enemy here. I'm taking some fire, but you know, still got plenty of, of ammo and armor, so I'm not really concerned about it. We're going to continue to push up this hill here as soon as I get powered back up. Just kind of watching my teammates. Got their backs. I like the Warhawk as an LRM platform because it is fast enough to, to keep up with the team. It can it can mostly keep up with the heavies. Um, it's faster than, than okay. most assaults. With this build that I'm using, one thing that you'll that you'll see me do a lot of times, um, if I am under fire, I try to turn my left side toward the enemy because most of my firepower is in the right side of the mech. So I use my left side as a shield side because I can lose that arm and torso and not lose a lot of firepower. So this light shuts down in front of us and he just gets ripped apart. Another kill, most damage dealt on him. There's only a couple of enemies left, so we're just kind of in mop-up mode right now. That guy stopped right in front of me, so I kind of ran into him. So we're just going to move on around. We've got a trebuchet here. These missiles hit him, took off a component. I think that was probably his leg that got taken off there because it was, it was out of armor and internals were exposed. Now here's a target that I'm going to tag. This is a shadow cat. He had ECM. So I'm tagging him. Tag is a very important part of my build. I use tag uh, and Artemis together. The reason I like to do that, if, if I didn't do that, I could put four LRM-15s on this mech, but I like to have tag and Artemis because of the increased lock time that you get, uh, or the decreased lock time that you get, rather. Uh, the combination of those two allows you to get locks pretty quickly. So you can see here the... Uh, end of match screen 10 assists one killing blow five kills most damage dealt 832 damage so a pretty pretty good match 